1832 Strasburg Railroad keeps the feeling of yesteryear alive. I like trains. We really desire for people to come here and just experience uh, early 20th century steam railroading like, like they would have back then. Several powerful steam engines with restored wooden passenger cars provide 45-minute rides through the countryside. The railway is known as a short line. Short lines connected passengers and goods to a major railroad that traveled to bigger cities. Back then, this was, this was Strasburg's connection to the outside world. This first-class cabin reflects the opulence some could afford during that era. Trains are such a part of the fabric of this country, in fact, a lot of nations in the world, so it's, it's nice to go back and see how the trains operated. It was fun to feel the sway back and forth and the slow pace. Oh, it's fun, and I enjoy it because the scenery is so different, and it just takes you way back in time. So does the nearby Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania, one of the largest U.S. train museums that tells the story of railroading in the Northeast. We have around 100 pieces of full-size railroad equipment, passenger cars, steam locomotives, freight cars, but we also have smaller objects like uniforms that were worn by uh, railroaders, uh, dining car china and silver. He says the big steam locomotives captivate people as much today as they did in the past. Just the idea of something that powerful pulling many, many freight cars or passenger cars is just something that always fascinated folks. So did the caboose at the back of the train, which onlookers waved at as the train passed by. Here at the Red Caboose Motel, which passengers can view from the steam train, guests can stay in more than the 35 20th century cabooses that were converted into rooms. They get to spend the night in a caboose. It's almost like sleeping in a museum. This is the largest caboose motel, the largest privately owned collection of cabooses in the country, according to the Guinness Book of World Records. And keeping the nostalgia of the old trains alive. Deborah Block, VOA News, Bronx, Pennsylvania.